Has it been a struggle for you to get healthy and fit? Maybe it's important to you, but you kind of struggle with where to prioritize it with your spiritual life and relationship with God. Many of us separate out faith from our fitness and health, forgetting that God cares about every aspect of our well-being. So how do you combine your faith with your health and wellness goals? In this video, I'm going to give you five tips to help you bring God into your health journey to make it more meaningful and make success possible. Welcome to my channel. I'm Holly of Renewal Fitness and Nutrition Coaching. I'm a registered dietitian and personal trainer, and I specialize in gut health, endurance sports nutrition, and faith-based weight loss and wellness coaching for women. I want to share with you in this video some tips that helped me in my own weight loss journey where I brought God into it to make it so much more meaningful and powerful and allowed me to actually find that long-lasting success. So tip number one is pray first. Many of us forget this. There is so much information out there on the internet, on social media, from friends and family, that it doesn't really feel like we need to seek God when it comes to things like weight loss or getting healthy. But so much of this information is conflicting. It's overwhelming. There's so much of it out there. And a lot of people struggle to sort through all of the different information to even know where to start. So instead of listening to all of the voices, tune out the noise, stop scrolling, and take some time to sit with God and ask him what he wants for you, how he wants you to approach your health, your wellness, whatever your goals are. Ask him what he wants you to eat, who he may want you to work with, if there's a professional he wants you to work with, uh, what friend you might want to connect with to go through this journey together, if there's foods that you particularly need to help heal and restore your body. God has all of the answers and all of the wisdom. So take a moment, sit down with a journal, and pray and ask God these specific questions. Then take a moment, pause and just listen. Be in the stillness and try to tune in to that still small voice that God often speaks to us through. Along with prayer, scripture should always be at the forefront of our minds and our days. So take some time to go through the Bible and find scripture that can encourage you in this wellness journey. One of my personal favorites is in 1 Corinthians 9, and it says, Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Therefore, I do not run like someone running aimlessly. I do not fight like a boxer beating the air. No, I strike a blow to my body and make it my slave, so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. These are the types of verses that I love when I'm literally running, and I try to keep those in my mind, knowing that when I'm running, I can use it as a metaphor for the rest of my life. And if I can push myself in my exercise, it helps me to learn how to push myself in my spiritual life and to run as someone who is running for the prize with eternity in mind. But you might want a different type of scripture, something like, there, therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. These types of verses can help remind us to have grace with ourselves, not to beat ourselves up when maybe we don't look the way we want to or our workout routine didn't go the way we want to, or we didn't eat quite perfectly to remind ourselves to have grace and to pick ourselves back up when we make mistakes or things aren't going as smoothly as we want. And to remember that God is with us and for us and will walk through this process alongside us. So write down any of these verses that are particularly encouraging and motivating to you and help you to stay disciplined. Jot them down on little cards where you can put them in your car or on your refrigerator or wherever you'll see them a lot. Or maybe you want to make them a screensaver on your phone or your computer. Keep them where you will see them often so you can be reminded of them and get that scripture into your mind and heart. The third tip I have for you is to listen to God-filled content when you are exercising or cooking. Bring God into it by listening to Christian music, worship music, sermons, or Christian podcasts. This helps to keep our mind focused on God and on what matters. What we put into our mind has a big impact on the way that we think about our bodies, about God, about others. So make this time a bit more sacred, a bit more meaningful by bringing God into it and letting it be a time of worship and learning and engaging with God. The fourth tip is to eat God-made foods. The foods that we eat and our relationship with food can be a way that we honor God with our bodies. We know that our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit. So what we put into them matters. The food that we eat can either contribute to our healing, and good mental health and good energy and the ability to serve others because we feel good, or it can contribute to illness and sickness and disease and feeling poorly and feeling depressed and feeling more stressed. Food truly is medicine, and it is true that you are what you eat. So then what do I mean when I say eat God-made foods? Well, think about what has been on the earth created by God since the beginning of time that is natural and either grows out of the ground or comes from a tree. So fruits, 
vegetables, whole grains, olives and olive oil, things like avocados, nuts and seeds, fish, eggs, and different animal products. These are the healthier, more natural, life-giving foods that contribute to healing, keeping you healthy, and being able to manage a healthy weight. Additionally, your relationship with food is something to look at. Some of us just eat food as fuel and it's a pretty simple process. It's not particularly spiritual. But for others of us, there's a struggle with food. Uh, in the church, quite often we talk about addictions to alcohol or to pornography or to all these different sins, but we really don't talk about gluttony. We don't talk about overeating and using food as a coping mechanism or using food or looking to food like an idol, treating it of such great importance and using it to fill voids in our life or tough emotions in our life. So if that's you, I encourage you to explore that relationship with food and to ask God to enter into that and to help you overcome any struggles that you have with it. I've been there, I've done this, and I have overcome through God's power. It is possible. The last tip is to have faith in God and in the process. So a lot of us, when it comes to our relationship with God, we're pretty good about praying for things that we want to see in our lives, that we want to see in other people's lives, even in the world. We will pray consistently for things to come, trusting that God is listening and that he is working on our behalf, even if we can't see it. Sometimes we pray for years before we see an answer to that prayer, but we try our best to remain faithful even when it's hard and it requires patience and it's a long process. However, a lot of us when it comes to losing weight or trying to get more fit or improve our health, if we don't see change immediately, we give up. If we go two, three, four weeks of doing a new workout plan or a new diet plan and we don't see a big weight change on the scale or we're not feeling incredibly better, we tend to just give up and go back to what we're, whatever we we're doing, thinking that it doesn't work or we don't have what it takes. But think of your health and fitness journey much like your relationship with God and your faith in God. Sometimes it takes a long time to really see progress and change in our bodies and in our health. Social media and TV will often have you think otherwise, that it's just a quick fix, four to six weeks, and you can have the body you've dreamed of. But in reality, that rarely happens. It's typically quite a slow process, but usually those slower processes are the ones that you can sustain over time. So keep in mind that your workouts and your diet, the ways that you're eating and trying to take care of yourself may take time, just like it takes time to pray and see God respond to certain prayers. So have faith in the process. Your body is changing even if you can't see it. When you start taking care of your body and feeding your body better foods, you may start to have improved blood pressure, improved cholesterol, better brain function, improved blood sugar levels. You may feel more energetic, a little bit more vibrant, able to sleep better. Your stress may be reduced, but sometimes we overlook these things. So things are changing inside your body, even if you can't see it on the outside. So remember that this is much like faith. You have to walk by faith and not by sight, trusting that what you are doing is working and you will see a change. You will see results if you remain faithful. And don't ever forget to continue to ask God. Seek him to help you. This can be tough. I know I've been there. I've gone through it. And I've helped so many other people go through health and wellness journeys to feel better and improve their lives. It's not always easy. So ask God to give you the strength. Ask him for perseverance. Ask him to help you overcome temptations and addictions or to work out when you feel like being lazy. Take these things to God. It's not just on you to figure out. And if you need extra help, seek an accountability partner. Reach out to a fitness coach, a wellness coach, a registered dietitian who can come alongside you, pray with you, share this journey with you, and walk alongside you to give you guidance and support and insight when maybe you're not sure how to take the next step. And this is one of my favorite things to do for other women is to walk through these difficult journeys with them to make it a bit easier. So if you would like help with this or want to learn more, you can use the link below to contact me and to book a free consultation to learn more about what I do and how we might be able to work together. And if you need something just really practical to get you going to start on this process while you're feeling motivated, I have a free download on my website. It's a seven day mini devotional of sorts that is focusing on health and wellness, but from a faith based perspective, giving you scripture, thoughts and encouragement for the day. Something simple, bite sized that you can work on for that day as you continue to seek God and find support for your goals. 
So thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please give it a like and subscribe and share it with someone else that you think might benefit from this as well. And until the next video, blessings on your health and fitness journey.